up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the CP Podcast. Man, I'm your host, CP. Uh, hence the name of the CP Podcast. CP is my initials. Uh, that's what people call me with my name. And uh, yeah, with me to my right, uh, but really on the screen is Maya, uh, who's at home being a, a, a wonderful mother to Roman, who apparently has a set of lungs on him today. Very healthy, baby. Very healthy. I'm I'm so glad for that. Nice, nice. And then back in all black, uh, Amir, uh, black bucket hat, black t shirt. I mean, I could, you know what? Like, you couldn't even do like a Where's Waldo with like Amir. Like, you have a little puzzle, Where's Amir? <laughs> you be like, Digger right there in the little black bucket with the black. You know, you had to hide him in like a little gothic, uh, all the little gothic kids. You gotta have to find him. He'd be over there with all the, uh, all the emos. But no, um, man, that's crazy. So, uh, my dog had their puppies today. Nice. I was, saw it. You got yeah. a Fren- Frenchie, right? Frenchie, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's dope, man. Little, we had eight puppies. It was supposed to be nine, but one of them died, which is crazy. Oh. I know, but it died before it was born. So like, uh, I was like, well, can we see it? Because I wanted to see like what color that it was. It's important to know all the colors, the variations. But I should not have asked to see it, man. Jesus Christ, that shit was crazy to see. Like you think it's gonna be a dead dog, but no, it was underdeveloped. Oh, so it was like from the jump wasn't gonna make it. Bro, it didn't even have a face. Oh. What? Oh my God. It was like something from Stranger Things. It was crazy. It was like a little demi dog. I was like, oh hell no. Nah. They was like, yeah, it must have because she had so many puppies in her. She was like full to her like chest. And it was crazy. Like, shout out to my uh to my boy dog, Max, man. You know what I'm saying? Busting them gut busters. <laughs> gut busters, you feel me? <laughs> but uh but yeah, man, that shit was wild to see. Gina, like, she had him at your house? No, 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 no. She had him in, uh, so my mom is in Michigan. So uh, the dame, uh, Minnie, was in Michigan. So I took Max to Michigan. Max has been in Michigan with them for a while. They're married. They have a nice little life together. Um, but I, I have to bring Max back to L.A. because um, he can't be around the puppies. You know what I'm saying? Max is just, he's, he's, he's a little different. He's a little different of a guy. You know, so he can't be around the puppies. So we got to bring Wait, him back. Can you elaborate on that? What you mean? Why can't he be around the puppies? Well, uh, they're not supposed to be around the puppies early on. So like um, like while here, while they're getting ready, they don't want the boy around them. And then plus, like Max is just very territorial. Like he's one of those uh, pandemic dogs who didn't really get socialized very well. You know what I'm saying? So Max is just Max has a different outlook on life. And, um, you know, he's just, he's, I would just rather, I would feel more comfortable with Max if I had him instead of him just roaming around these puppies. Cause he might be like, Hmm, let me snatch one up and drag it down the stairs and show it my new toy. Like he's that kind of dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, oh. oh yeah. Let me take one and show it how to, like, I want to play right now. I want them to learn how to roll the ball right now. And then you come back and it's, it's a, it's a puppy in the kitchen. It's a puppy in the living room. It's, you know what I'm saying? Like that's. Max is just like, he's like a kid. Like, he really is like a little person. And he doesn't really get into stuff. But like, something like that, I know that he would want to be involved a lot. You know what I'm saying? And it's just hard to keep him away. And then him and him and the girl, they argue a lot. You know, they just always are bickering. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, I don't want the babies to see that. You know what I'm saying? Early on, you know, Max come home drunk. You know, off of, you know, he's like, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? No kibble in this bitch. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? She's like, Max, don't start with me. I, I, you try to take care of eight motherfucking babies. Uh, shut up, bitch. All I asked for was something to drink. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then one of the puppies like, don't call my mama a bitch. And Max like, shut up. You a bitch too. Because it, it'd be a girl puppy. And it'd be a mess. And I got to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? And this is like, it, it's, it's a lot, man. It's a lot. So, you know, we just got to love on Max. Because uh, it's new puppies on the way. I mean, it's new puppies that are, um, you know. I'm also keeping one of the boys, too. I'm going to keep a boy. Really? I'm going to keep a boy. We got a uh, we got a pied Merle boy, which is like a very rare. So, like, pied. You know what pied is, right? No. Like, like you know, like pied snakes. You know what I'm saying? Like pied. pied th- so, like, what it is, is like um, when a snake is all white and has patches. That's called pied, right? And so, like, um, we have an all-white with merle 
patches. So the patches that are on the dog are actually Murrow. So it's called a pied Murrow Frenchie. And so they're, they're, they're pretty rare. And uh, so I'm going to keep one of those. And uh, I'm going to keep him. And his name is going to be King Louie. And, uh, yeah. Oh, you're gonna keep him in LA? You're gonna bring him back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll bring, I'll bring him back to LA for sure. What? You, a puppy is a babysitter for kids. You don't know yet because you because because you know Rome is still little. What? You, man, you put a puppy in a room with a kid, you could go to uh, Six Flags and they wouldn't even realize it. They'd be at the, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> man, please. All the most of the people who I know who parents was on crack, they had a dog and the dog look after them kids. The dog was like an old grand dog. The dog look after them kids. The dog was raising them kids. That's why the kids had that dog in them. <laughs> Wait, is this? Let me let me see. Is this what you're talking about? This kind of puppy? Uh, not at all. I, I said a French bulldog. Oh my god! No, my. but the color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let so that's see. pie. That's pie for sure. Uh, oh, so ah, okay, okay. I was yep. out here saying they cookies and cream or whatever. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> cookies and cream is hilarious. So, and then we also got like one light gray, dark gray Murrow boy. And then we got two blue boys, which are pretty, uh, like super solid. Um, and then we got uh, four girls, two blue and two Murrow. It's very exciting, man. Except for that one faceless dog. That shit fucked me up. I was like, man, it was like a fruit snack. Uh uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone said if I saw the video of a mama dog growling at her pops. Uh, the pops when he comes around the kids. Yeah. I didn't yeah. realize they were that bad. Yeah. I mean, you know, because, you know, because like, and then like Max, I could see Max like peeing on those puppies. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are my kids. Pee on them. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, bro. Like, what it is about the male that they see them like, they be, do they kill them? Not a mom be eating them sometimes on accident, right? I mean, uh, if if anything, like, uh, we have a whelper that's going to be like whelping them 20, like, uh, around the clock. So, like, they have, they have care. But, um, like, uh, no, the most shit do is like roll over on them by mistake. Oh, you know what I'm saying? God, damn. Yeah. yeah. You feel me? Like step on them, just trying you know, just not being careful. Yeah. So like, we, we, we just got to watch her with that. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much it. Dogs seem a lot more reckless with their children than cats. <laughs> you think so? Cats be throwing their kids off the top of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like. Now they be, they be extremely protective of those kids. Oh, for real? Cats yeah. do? Yes. Wow. Yeah. They didn't I even know like, that. Like, they don't even really want. They'll either allow a person to get near them, but that'll be the only person that could be near them. Wow. And like watch over them. Otherwise, yeah. they don't really want a lot of people around. You know what's crazy is that kittens always be like out in the world like crack babies. That's why I feel like cat oh, mothers don't care. That's more of the, uh, like, yeah, like uh, if they're raised like, or they're just stray. I okay. feel like the stray feral. cat, they, yeah, they'll go out. Yeah, yeah feral. Yeah, but I see, I, I saw this video where 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 this cat was, uh, she didn't, she was out somewhere down the street and her kittens was whining and then the dude was like, come on back here. And basically like she was out here for the streets. You know what I'm saying? I just I just thought cats ain't give a fuck. It, it just seemed like cats be like, you know, they, they can't wait to get back to the alley. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, that's them that's them stray cats. They be a little wild. But they but even then when you see them, they usually be more grown too. Dang. What what the little kittens? Yeah, yeah they, they be, be like knowing grown. some shit. Yeah. yeah, because like, you know, they, that that's probably like a single cat mother, probably got a little job. You know what I'm saying? She down there begging downtown and she just got to just, they got to grow up fast. You know what I'm saying? These some grow up fast cats. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, you know, they probably fucking early. You know what I'm saying? Like, these little niggas just, you know, because they, they, not, they not really being washed over like that, but they got the life skills. They got the life skills. They done seen some shit and they make good cat parents. If you get you astray and wash it up and give it some, man, that'll be a good cat parent. Cause they just, you know, if, what I'm saying, they, you know, they didn't got clean. You probably put it, get it in church. If you can handle a stray cat early, like early, early, then it can be domestic. But if you get a stray cat, stray kit in a little bit too late, then that's kind of hard to deal with its whole life. Really, kittens are weird like that. Yeah, you got to get them early and start handling them with your hands and like get them accustomed to humans. Wow. So I've heard the rumor that cats like. Cats are the same as like panthers and lions. They just little. Like they would love to kill you and eat you if they could. I believe it. Wow. And you you have one and you believe it. As a cat owner, my I expect you to just be like, hell no, nah, my main coon would never. But so you know they say like cats are 
um, like like people who die in their home, their cats usually eat them. I bet we're supposed to taste like pork. What? Humans taste like pork. You've never heard that? No, this. Why? What? <laughs> this is our first time ever hearing. Why? That. Why? Why? And why were you? Why are you circling around? The, uh, God. I've never. I, that's what they say. I don't know. I trust the people who have eaten other humans. You. You don't trust anything, my. Like you, 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 you're skeptical about everything, and then a human eater tells you, "We taste like pork." You're like, "Yep, there it is, pork. I believe it." Well, think about this: they can swap out like pig organs or pig parts with us. So, I didn't know that. What you dot, mean? Dot dot dot. Is some niggas walking around here with pig hearts? They had a, a uh, I think transplant they're, they're, recently. They're testing so. that actually. I think that's actually the one that they're actually Man, testing. hell no. You walk around here with a delicious ass heart. <laughs> with I mean, a savory it, ass, uh, with some savory lungs. If it functions the go. same, I guess. After first setback, second pig heart transplant provokes cautious optimism. Yeah, man. I mean, you can, you gonna be alive, but shit, you, you gonna stink. Pig heart. Oh, that's just crazy. Got me a pig heart. Do you become a vegan after that? You can't eat no more pork. You got pork in you. Pigs will eat other pigs. Pigs will eat other pigs? Yeah. Pigs yeah. are smart animals. And if you raise them, you know, in clean environments, they can be clean. But the way we raise them is just, it's not very clean. So so pigs is basically like people. Because if you raise people in a clean environment, they can be clean too. But you raise niggas in prison and they be running around acting crazy. Yeah. When you really think about it, it's all, you know, like Trading Places, that movie. You know what I'm saying? It's all just where you, you know. You know, that was a good-ass movie, man. I feel like that. It's some shit going on, man. I, I've been watching a lot of different little conspiracy stuff, you know. Um, but not like conspiracy theory like YouTube, but like TV shows that like hint at stuff, you know. Shit's getting tricky. What you been uh, watching lately, Meyer, or like tuning into i know you've been checking out this war i know you love wars uh i don't love them but you gotta be aware you don't get the luxury of ignoring what's going on so the what happened uh in israel is it's a shame it's a real shame on all fronts is it a, this is a tragedy is it so so are you are you do you want to talk about that because like it's weird like no i i, I they're posting like women and children and elderly ladies and babies just bronze age stuff like stuff from before we got civilized now we have rules of warfare and they're breaking all of them but th what they did was wait a minute they're breaking medieval. what are the rules like yeah they put up to a music festival yeah it was a peace festival all those people the, the people they killed these are hippies they wanted peace so yeah, I, See, I can't even. Sometimes, can't man, even. sometimes you got to just get out the way and, and and like, man, fuck that piece. You know, they not. It's like, bro, man, dog, I hate that, man. I hate that so much, man. Yeah, and, you know, raping women, going after children. Oh, they raping people, too? Who the fuck is horny in the middle of the goddamn rape? That's what I never understood. Like, nigga, you niggas, focus. You niggas are raiding a country. Why are you fucking people? That shit don't matter. It's a, uh, it's a sign of dominance of power. Since it's, it's not really so much the act of, like, hmm, I'm in the mood. It's more like... Nah, because nah, my... I, so your dick got to be like, you got to talk to your dick that night. Like, look, now when we get in here, I want you to get up and perform because we got to dominate these. No, it's some sick niggas. And I, when I say niggas, I mean, I ain't talking about Negro niggas. I'm talking about niggas from all over. Niggas. This is, that's, that's crazy. They raped yeah, them motherfuckers. They were sick. They did a lot of sick stuff. I don't want to go into it right, right now, but uh, including small children and babies they're reporting. So... Oh, we got an uh, aircraft oh, carrier off the coast ready to mess anybody up. So this this could turn into a big mess. We got an aircraft carrier? Yeah, the uh, USS Ford is off the coast. Off the coast of what? It's um off the coast of Israel, off the coast of uh, Gaza. Why is not in that bitch? Uh, it's an aircraft carrier. 
Oh, so they, right. So they not. So I mean, I'm saying, why why they not shooting no planes in that bitch? See, here's what I heard, and you let me know. I heard that the Palestinians are sliding back. Like this is this is payback for how they've been doing, got did, and they've been did way worse than what we seeing, and the world is 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 is, is skewing towards almost like trying to victimize the oppressors. What do you think about that? Well, it's when I say it's complicated, I I mean it's actually complicated cuz like yes, Israel has taken land, but they've taken land after they've won wars. And after they've won wars that the Arabs have started. So, if we want to go back to this, like Israel is the Jewish homeland. It's Judea. It goes back to the Bible. Even if you go back to the mid uh, 19th century, so like 1850, the majority of people who lived in Jerusalem were Jewish. So they do have a claim on that land. And they've been through so much that they're just like, we're having a homeland. Israel is not is it, Israel is not a country to mess with mm -hmm. at this point. Right. Because everybody yeah. they have a lot of allies, correct? They have a lot of allies, but they've been through a lot. Like Europe used to just every once in a while decide they're going to kill all the Jews. Mm -hmm. And they did. And they, they killed a, a good uh, portion of them, you know, obviously in the Holocaust. So. So but were, were any of these Jews Palestine or Palestinian? There were there were Jews who have lived in Palestine. So Palestinian is strange because it's kind of a, it was a name for the land. And there were people living there and they were like Bedouins and they were nomadic Arab tribes. And then uh, the British. The British decided to promise that land to two people. They promised them to the Jews and then to the Arabs in World War One. And the British kind of rescinded on their promise during World War One. Mm -hmm. So if you really want to get technical, just like a lot of unfortunately, a lot of land wars that we're seeing today, like we see with India, Pakistan, but we see in the Palestine area, formerly Palestine, now Israel, it has a lot to do with the way the British decided to mark up their territory. Right. They had like, a lot of go. they had a lot of backdoor meetings. I think it was like like, like that psych in something agreement that left the Arabs out when they were supposed to be promised a, a fair share of that land. And so the agreement was held behind closed doors to kind of leave them out of that. And then when they finally got everything to a civil agreement, the agreement basically even still X'd all of those people out of like the Palestinian, you know what I'm saying? It kind of like, um, basically they took more land than they were supposed to. Right. Because well, they took them over wars. Like they fought wars. It was, it was the initial agreement. And then, um, but you know, the initial they didn't agreement like that. wasn't the fair. Arabs right. They didn't like the Jews being there and the, the Jews won wars. Right. Israel won wars. Right. So it's hard to say. And so if they won a war, then, I mean. They I won just, three wars. Right. But but what I'm saying is like, what's weird to me, and just excuse my ignorance, because I'm not like so adverse in what this whole conflict, particularly this one, um, is of rooted course, in. it goes back forever. How are people supposed to know about this? They expect right. Americans to know about this and be like, hey, do you want to get involved in a war? And it's like it's so much that most people can't even understand what's going on right now. Exactly. In two days, right. three days. Right. But my thing is. People invade and kill and win wars. And then you see it in all the movies all the time. It's almost like they expect the it to be over like we beat you that's it but like these little kids that saw their parents get killed and then they became teenagers that band together and start making these uprisings and these kind of revolt groups and then all of a sudden those teenagers are 25 and 30 years old and they're leading small armies and small militias and then those small militias come together as one big plan to one day strike back and that one day is now and it's like yeah i i, I you know what i'm saying like something to be said for that uh however i wouldn't put any hamas hasn't held elections like hamas their charter says israel should not exist mm -hmm. like hamas are very extreme they're not they're not like a government they say they're they're technically a government they say they're a government but when you really look at the way they've been managing things they're not they're not like a government like we have they're more of a terrorist organization. So mm. getting behind Hamas 
is somewhat different than getting behind the Palestinian people, because a lot of the Palestinian people don't want Hamas in power anymore either. They want to have an election, but Hamas won't hold elections anymore. Well, because the majority of people want peace, right? The majority of people want things to just calmly go away and go back to the way that things were. It's just it's like I don't I, I don't agree with any side because I don't have all the knowledge. But what I'm saying is like if you beat people in a war, you damn near need to plan on beating them again because until you eradicate all of them, you're gonna have people that's not happy with the fact that y'all won that war and they're gonna wanna run it back. Yeah, and unfortunately it might be going that way right now. Uh, yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna stop Israel, whatever Israel decides to do, because you can't have headlines like Hamas beheads 40 babies and expect the international community to come out on your side. Even though I don't think Gaza, that's true, though. Yeah, I don't even think though that's... Gaza has a lot of children in it, it's uh, they're, they're they're sieging it right now. We're seeing siege warfare, which means they're not letting any food in, not letting any fuel in. They've no uh, taken away the electricity. Like we're seeing old style armies surround a city and starve them out, kind of siege warfare, and throw artillery in. So it's crazy. Mm. Man, man, oh man. How does that, I mean, like, what do you think that effect could be on America? Well, there's at least 14 Americans dead, some captured. I think the whole total number is like 30 missing, and they don't know if they're dead or if they're uh, captured. They say we might have to send in a special operations to get them out, which means, like, one of our special forces goes in and physically goes into one of the buildings. I don't know how they're going to even find them and removes them. Ooh, uh, you know. I ain't gonna lie. As as fucked up as that sounds, that sounds like a dog ass mission on some kind of Call of Duty video game or some shit like that. Where you got to go in and and, and and say the hostages. Man, that's just that's the type of shit I like playing. I ain't gonna hold you up. I go in that motherfucker with my crew, four or five niggas, and we clear that bitch out. <laughs> I mean, good. I hope they get them. I really do hope they get them because I don't want to see like any more videos of Americans killed. It's awful. They're sending videos I, of people killing Americans on purpose? They're, they're videos of them killing everybody. And at this music festival, there were Thai people, there were Italian people, there were all these kinds of people. So the videos of people getting killed, like that that girl that was in the back of the back of the car, um, they said she was dead. She might actually just have been injured. She was German. So they don't know. They're just going and they're just, they're just killing Is everybody. Is there video of, of them pulling up to... And I did see uh, that Iron Dome that they had, too, like that basically that um, radioactive shield that they have that's stopping the bombs, which is amazing to see, because you know that America not only gave them that, but we probably gave them our old one. That's probably like Sega Genesis compared to like the PS5 that we got covering our country. But I um, hope so. Yeah, for real. Because <laughs> so this, this stuff, but this might blow up. This is kind of World War One. You don't know. There's a lot of little flashpoints, and then bam, the whole world's at war, kind of thing. I think this is the perfect time for an extraterrestrial intervention. I think that this is when shit like this is when, like, because you know, the like throughout history, a lot of the like um, the most UFO sightings have all been by military. Like, they have the most UFO sites. If you look at some of the classified documents, a lot of the UFO activity is around military bases, is around, um, like, wartime, a lot of conflict areas, almost as if they're just observing what's going on. Um, there's been a few cases of people trying to interact with them, right? I think there was, like, a, like, like the battle for L.A. You heard about that from way back in the day? I have heard about that. Where I don't was... know exactly how I feel about that. What you mean? Like you think it sounds like it's cap? So there's there's a couple of things. There's that guy who who discovered the underground lizard city in the catacombs, and it's like all up under L.A. and it was forged with a chemical, um, just uh for the people at home, it says that in 1942, the infamous false alarm saw American military units unleash a torrent of anti aircraft fire in the skies over Los Angeles. So. Yeah. What was that? It was a like, UFO. Go on, sorry. It was a UFO supposedly that they were chasing down the coastline. Um, and so it started around like LAX and they basically was chasing that bitch all the way down to like the OC before it took off, which is some wild shit to even understand. Um 
But um, it's just this is like the perfect setup for Project Blue Beam. Like this is this is to me this is like beginning of like some biblical type of turning of events. Like what if, you know, the big revelations in the Bible is actually, you know, um, talking about the next time that these otherworldly beings are coming back to kind of set sit straight and show everybody what it is. I hope so. But (laughs) that's wishful thinking to me because, I would love for aliens to come down and stop whatever we're about to do, but it might just be we have another world war on our hands. It might not be that, but you know, worst case scenario, we have another world war on our hands. Think, who do you think is going to side with the deal Palestine? with humans? Who do you think is going to side with Palestine? A world war with us and some of our allies would be like fifteen minutes of going in there and fucking them up. Okay, so I'm just going to play out scenarios. I'm not saying this is going to happen. Of I'm course, just saying where it would where the lines would be drawn. Okay. So Iran would sign with Palestine and then Russia would side with Iran. And then China, who's been, uh, has not said much because they're smart, would go with them. And it would just be an opportunity to open up a three front war and break the United States down a little bit. But while we got old ass, uh, Greg from down the street in the white house in there forgetting shit and looking the wrong way. We need like a, we need a 30 year old president. That's what we really need is a is is a nigga who's still fucking and somebody who has a little bit of vitality in him. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh no. I mean, we need the minimum age is 34. So if we had a young a younger president, that would be great. I say this about Biden all the time. He looks really bad, but you see the policies he's put in place. As far as presidents go, nobody's perfect, but he hasn't done a bad job. He just mm. looks bad. Mm-hmm. And you've heard the rumor that he's not the one actually doing the presidenting, right? Well, you've heard the rumor that he's been dead for about three years and that they've been running a, you laugh, but, you know, they've been running this imposter, right? There's that video of him scratching the back of his neck and his neck curls up like a like a, like, like a damn condom. And it's like, what, the, what? what is that? Did he get a bad... Um, bad plastic surgery? Like a bad facelift? No, it looked like a bad mask. Can we bring that up, please? Just show that, like, type in, like, is uh, Joe Biden a clone? Joe Biden. What? I mean, a clone or an imposter or something like that, because it's like his neck just rose up. Wait, is this what you're talking about? It says. Yeah, right here. Watch him scratch his neck. That could be that could be a bad facelift. Hold on, hold on. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on, my. Uh... That's some old people flap, bro. No, right there, and then it just stays. It wrinkled up in the corner. Come on, <laughs> man. How many old people y'all know? Man, I ain't never touched no old white person. So old I'm, people I'm not be sure. old people be wrinkly as hell, bro. Like, but he's eighty. What? He's eighty, right? He eighty something, right? I think he's eighty this year. So okay, the spot in question. That we're questioning, that's itching, is the only part that looks fake. And all of a sudden, it's like, that's just old people. The neck is where they get flabby, the double chins, all kind of stuff. But like that, though? Man, yeah, I wish man. I had some old white people to touch. And we could bring <laughs> them in here like some like some little experiment. Like, look at his neck. We just splash their necks. That shit looked fake. Like, I don't know. Whoever is doing the presidenting is not doing a terrible job. Like... He's Joe Biden is doing pretty well in Ukraine because let's say it does pop into a world war where we're fighting on three fronts, Europe, the Middle East and in Asia. We don't want to have to fight in Europe. You know what I mean? It's better Mm. that the Ukrainians take care of Russia, keep them tied up so we don't have to face them. Who got our back? The Canadians? Canadians always have our back. Canadians are like our BFF forever. And then all of NATO has our back. And then Japan, I fuck with Canadians, South duh. Korea. Pardon? I fuck with the little Canadians. But go ahead. You said there's Japan, South Korea. Japan, South Korea, Australia, Philippines. So that would be that would be the Asian front where we'd have to fight China. If China was China wants to get involved. I don't know if they do, honestly, but you know, we'll see. Mm-hmm. And then in the Middle East, that's where it would kind of get messy because 
not everybody is down with Hamas. They, they're putting out all these statements, but a lot of the Middle Eastern countries, they're not down with Hamas. Like UAE put out a statement that was like, we're not down with this. Um, and then apparently this is also rumor, but it makes sense that Hamas attacked Israel to keep them from signing a peace deal with uh, Saudi Arabia. So it gets complicated and who, who's got our back and who doesn't. Mm-hmm. See, if you fuck with us, you need, you need to let us know now. Like, we're not bullshitting. We need to know who fuck with us and who don't. Because when we ride, we riding for real. And we sliding. And we sliding for real. We not playing. Flat out. I'm, You know what I'm saying? Like, don't make me come out of retirement. Pull up with my nine. <laughs> Can you imagine a nigga, a nigga pull up with a nine? Like, yeah, what nigga? You know, it's like, man, please. They was over there blasting folks, man. That's so, man. Ugh. That's disgusting, man. I just don't want to see nobody get hurt, man. Especially like somebody who I don't know, total stranger. I'd rather see somebody who I don't like get hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of people defending what happened on Saturday, and I'm just like, how how do you defend that? Like these people who are like queers for Palestine. Like, do you remember when they lured that gay guy back to Palestine and cut off his head? How so they lure see, him? Like, how they lure him? How they, what they tell me? There's there's give him some head. They're like, it's your head, and then they cut his head off. Damn, yeah. that's fucked up. Shout out to Martin Lawrence. That's like a Martin Lawrence joke. He said had a joke something like that. I don't want this shit to go viral, and then it's like, oh, CP, probably not. That was Martin who said that. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, do you want to hear a funny story that's got nothing to do with anything? Because that's so serious. Mm, I guess, yeah. You don't want to want to be too serious. Okay, so these sheep wandered into a greenhouse in uh, Greece and mm-hmm. they ate 600 pounds of marijuana. See, and that's when you lock the door. You'd be like, see, now you can't leave. You know what I'm saying? That's when you turn their ass into edible lamb chops that are already infused with the weed. You make money off of that. Bam. High chops. High chop <laughs> phase. Call it a high chop phase. Start a restaurant with high Weed infused land chops. Bam, high chop phase. What up, y'all? Welcome to high chop phase. Can I help you? Yeah, let me get two high chop phase. Man, what? That's our new spot. High ass lambs. I, ooh, I go in there. Man, first of all, you gonna tie one lamb up and beat his ass and show everybody else what happens when you fuck with the plug. And then you, you know, make high. I don't know why this pissed me off. I'm sorry. I, I know this is cute to people who don't smoke weed, but this really, that's 600 pounds. Them niggas was good. They went to bed that night like, cool, I got that 600 pounds out there. I'm going to pay my student loans. I'll pay these bills. And they woke up like, nah. <laughs> 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 they out there laughing like, nah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? And this fucking sheep in there fucking your trees up. Looking at you, cause you know they like goats. They just they don't give a fuck. They chewing, looking at you like y'all in here. Like man, I'd be mad at the motherfucker. You know, if you ever want to get your lawn cleared, like if you have a a really really messy plot of land, what you're supposed to do is get a bunch of goats out there. Really? Yeah, cause they'll clear it for you. Yeah, your shit gonna look like sand lot when they get done. <laughs> <laughs> you where the fuck is all my grass at? They be like, you asked us. <laughs> they gonna eat all the grass and then this big. It's gonna be like seven piles of shit. That you got to go clean. Just cut the grass, man. I ain't got time to be fucking around with no goats, man. God damn. You know what I like? Have you ever seen fainting goats? You scare them and they just pass out? Oh, my God. Out. That's the best. <laughs> Have you seen those, Maya? Uh, no, I'm going to look right oh now. My God. Why, why oh, do man. they faint? We got, so they faint because they go into like this, par- like this paralysis when they get like spooked out. You know what I'm saying? So they like, they like their legs freeze up and they just fall out. Man, I want to get one. And like I said with the penguin, look, uh, ah, what, man, please. I'm inviting my friends over. If I paid 2000 for it, everybody got to give me $200. You get 20 minutes with the motherfucker, no questions asked. Chase it around the room. I want to take one to a haunted house. Can you imagine walking with one of them in Halloween horror nights? <laughs> Come on, man, get your ass up. That'd be funny as hell. Oh, this nigga, they just, they just, dog. Uh... Boo. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. No, imagine, can you imagine being a whole ass species? Like, <laughs> like your whole species is just whole ass? Oh, uh, man, y'all just, just 
naturally some hoes. These, yeah, these. this doesn't seem like it, like evolutionary. Evolutionarily, this doesn't seem to make any sense. They should be gone. Like, what? Can you imagine? See, this would this this would this this what they feed them old lions in the, in the lion nursing home. Like, I we got faint goat for lunch. Like, uh, thank you very much. And then lion be walking up in a little walker, like, and then just can eat them easy. Cause I, I don't see I don't see I don't see them getting away from anything. And then they get up and they, and they be all embarrassed. Look how embarrassed he is. Like, yeah, man, you know I be fainting and shit. This nigga got the hooves and everything, and I mean the horns. Oh, just a, just a, just a bitch. Man, I wish I ate goats. That's that's funny as hell. You don't eat goats? Goats good. Go good. It, it's kind of a little. It's like a little gamey. Yeah, like, I don't it like tastes I don't, I don't, like a farmhouse. Yeah, I don't like gamey meat. Fuck that. That should be. Ugh, I can't stand nothing gamey. As soon as you said that, what's my man name? Uh, Andrew Zimmern. Off of um, off of um, strange foods or whatever it's called. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, oh yeah, bro. I used to watch that. Yeah, a little fat little ball. He'd be like, yeah. mm, "It's gelatinous." He used and to eat. He used to eat whatever, dog. Whatever, bro. Any and everything. Whatever. That nigga didn't care. I think that was his name. Or yeah. some, it was something like that, though. Yeah. I just, I, I just, I, I just imagine like dude like that get a lot of pussy because bitches know he, he gonna eat whatever. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. <laughs> he gonna, he <laughs> gonna eat whatever. They scared nigga. He gonna give them whatever he just had too. Uh, I mean, nah, I don't think so. I think he be having to get shots. I ain't never seen him not like nothing. And when he do not like nothing, I think he do it with grace. Like, it's not for me. It's very gamey. Yeah. He, he ate a duck off the street. That man ate some testicles, dog. That's what I was like. I yeah, time out. bro. I can't eat no balls, dog. I can't eat no no animals nuts. I don't give a fuck what it is. But then again, I don't know what's in pepperoni, though. I'm pretty sure it's, some, it's probably some pig <laughs> nuts in that. What you think, Mai? I think it's, man, did I you- I think it's just about anything. Think about how many hot dogs that you've eaten in your life. They say that they, like, 30% of them contain human DNA. Yeah, I've switched over to sausages since I've gotten older. Oh, uh, yeah, I feel you. Damn, you know what? I have, too. But I still fuck a hot dog up. I'm not gonna sit here and, and cap to y'all. But like, yeah, you're right. Like, I fuck a hot sausage up or like a link or something like that. I, I don't really fuck with hot dogs too much. But they said it's human DNA. And what humans? All these missing people? Probably someone who works at the factory. And I don't even want to go into. Oh, but it could be if the pigs, if there was a serial killer who fed uh, their kills to pigs, that happens sometimes. Wait, what? Sometimes, well, not often, but it has been known to happen that serial killers will feed their kills to pigs. So that could happen. I didn't mean to like get everything all dark, but I'm no, 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 no. I'm saying so. Like, if like if you're a serial killer, should you just have some pigs? I'm not gonna give any ideas to people in the audience, but <laughs> I would if I were a serial killer. <laughs> I don't want to give any ideas to people in the audience, but as a very smart person who you should probably listen to, yeah, I would. I mean, man, how, like, how, so how would you serial kill? Oh man, I don't know. I'd probably, I'd probably focus on bad people who like hurt children, and then I just like I'm done with you. Mm. I'd go through the, um, you know, they have that sex offenders list mm -hmm. of all the sex offenders that live near you. Mm -hmm. I'd be like you, 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 and you. I think I would chase down bad drivers, stalk them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, cool. I'll be back tonight. I'm gonna get you. Since you want to cut people off and be on your phone, fucking you up for being on your phone. And you smoking a cigarette in there and the window not down enough. That's pissing me off. I'm fucking killing you. Next time I see you, I'm going to fuck you up because I don't like that cigarette in there. And not even in my car, but I don't like looking at it. And I don't like those shorts you got on. I'm killing you. Yeah, I'd be serial killer. Everybody be dead. Not everybody, but like everybody who, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm trying to think. Like, what, Man, what, what would be like my group? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what would be your group? I saw this fat white man earlier with a beard, and, and I was like, man, I'd probably round up four, five of them. You know? <laughs> what? Sometimes they're strong. You got to be careful of those heavy set people. Like, you don't know if that's like fat or if that's like just a little bit of fat over a lot of muscle. So you got to be mm -hmm. careful. Well, you know, you're supposed to slap them in the back of the knee and let all that buckle. They're going to fall like a building. <laughs> <laughs> Pop! Oh, no, come on, man! What you doing? 
You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. But I do think that uh these missing people, it's just something about it is 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 this is like reptilian city. Like the fact that all those reptile people lived under LA for all that time and nobody says anything about it, and they found like a whole city. Like it was in a newspaper about like the reptilian catacombs under like all that, all these hills and connected to these houses and all that. Like, have you heard about this? I'm I'm looking at it right now. It says when LA thought it had a secret underground reptilian city. Oh what? please! And that and, and and that was published today. Oh no, no, it wasn't. That was that was last year. 2015. Yeah, this is a while ago. But oh, what? I says this guy G Warren Shu. Yeah, she with a radio X-ray. Equipped with radio what they mean, technology. Thought. Possibility of untold riches. According to the geophysical mining engineer, an ancient race of lizard people once lived in the underground caverns just below the city. This guy is wild. Why is that wild off rip? Just because he said it is wild. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's wild. Although the creatures were long gone, their cache of gold tablets and treasures remained. So this guy convinced people they got that gold iPads. Shufelt and his team were determined to organize an old-fashioned treasure hunt to retrieve them. Wow. Yeah. This was confirmed by his X-ray radio. Mm-hmm. This radio was an invention he perfected himself, which could possibly see below the Earth's surface like a sonogram. Mm-hmm. Bam. I believe it. I believe it. Flat out. It's just because it's just too much shit going on. I believe it. And if you think them lizard people is dead, please. Please. We're fucking them. Like, you know, we, they're all in through us. And we don't even realize it. They say a lot of people got reptilian DNA. It's three DNAs. It's like human, it's like uh reptilian and human, and then it's reptilian. Well, there are multiple DNAs, like uh human species DNAs. There's while us, we're Homo sapiens sapiens. Then there's Neanderthals, Homo sapien ne- Neanderthalus. Then there's the Denisovans. And I think they found another one now. Yeah, they found another one. Yeah, so we have different DNAs. Like um, people of European descent, white people have more Neanderthal DNA. Mm-hmm. That's why they'd be outside with them shorts on and shit and they'd be hairy, huh? And that makes you mad. You want to serial kill them for those shorts. I don't want to serial kill them for the shorts, but it's like it's, it's too cold for the shorts. You need to die. What do I think lizard? No. No, that's too far uh, away from us in Man, the animal kingdom. Do you understand that there was a time when beings were splicing DNA on this planet trying to figure out what shit was going to be cool and there was like half bird, half human, half horse, half human, all kind of stuff. Like you So don't you're think- saying that you think that the Greek mythology, the Roman mythology that's real? Yes, I do. Absolutely. Because everything else that they drew was stuff that they saw and all of a sudden now they're they got these fictional things that they are interpretations. Meanwhile, everything else is what they saw. Right? So, I mean, you know, I don't know, man. Like, I, I think that we're about to, everything is coming to a head. I feel like everything is bottlenecking. Like, we're about to find out some shit for sure. And if it's aliens, if it's interdimensional beings, if it's, you know, what's that? The Minotaur. I ain't saying nothing about no Minotaur. But it's what? like half, uh, half right. bull, half human. Mmm. I see what you're saying. Okay. Why is there so many, you know, why is there even a name for this? Like, people think that people are just out here just creating shit out the blue. Like, dog, some of this shit is real in a way that we just don't know. You know? I mean, they do splice up all kinds of things um, so that we get better crops. On a genetic level, they'll splice one thing into another. So, I mean... You think it's, it's possible? It's not impossible. I mean, but I'm talking about possible on the scale of being done thousands of years ago. Like, like how old do you think the Earth is? Oh, they say four billion. Do they say four billion? Four and a half billion years old is the Earth. Get the four point six. You and you guys believe that? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't there. They date it through like um, carbon dating and stuff. I, I wasn't there. How, why wouldn't I believe it? I mean, but they it's do like, the carbon dating. Duh. So you mean to tell me that they can tell you anything that's a billion years old? How the fuck can you know to go four more billion? Yeah, yeah, this is about 4.6 billion based on the fact that these rocks and the way it's like, dog, I do not believe that at all. I think that this earth is a lot 
uh, newer than we would like to imagine. Uh, so you think mm -hmm. it's less than four point six billion? Yes, absolutely. But how much less? By at least four billion less. I say it's like six hundred thousand years old, and that's it. So oh no, you're going more like biblical, like you're like one of those people who think that the Bible is accurately depicting how old the Earth is. No, but I think that six hundred thousand years. People act like that's something to sneeze at. Six hundred thousand. Like think about it is something to it sneeze is. at. How long have people been here? Well, in our modern form, they think maybe like 200, 250,000. Yeah. So saying that the earth is 600,000, it's not that bad. You add on another three or 400,000 years before that with dinosaurs and all that shit. Like, I don't think it like four billion is crazy. Wait, how, wait, how long ago was the dinosaurs? 65 million. They were extinct. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. I was like, there's no way. It's in the, the hundreds of thousands. The dinosaurs haven't been here for millions of years. Dog, says who? Like, how are they dating this stuff and nobody's questioning it? Like, they have been questioning it. It's just that it's like, well, how far? You push back on it. They say it's true. Okay, let me give you an example. Okay. People are digging up dinosaurs in, like, California mm -hmm. that were supposed to be 65 billion years, I mean, a million years ago. Mm -hmm. Just digging them up, like, oh, yeah, there's a bone right there from 65 million years. Think about this for a second. And we and, and, and then it was shit on this earth four billion years ago, and we acting like, yeah, you know, this was this is like, come on, dog, like billions of years, shit would be buried so deep. Like, you talking about like. Really? Okay, so there is a group of people who think dinosaurs are not real. And we used to troll them on Facebook while we were still on Facebook. We're off Facebook now, but we used to, we joined the group and we used to troll them. Um, and they, they claim that dinosaurs are not real. They were only invented in the 1800s. So when you're digging up fossils, you're not digging up the actual bone. Rock and minerals have replaced the bone over uh, the millennia. So you're digging up like a mold of the bone that's rock. What? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what a that's what most fossils are. So you're you're actually seeing the the rock, which shows what was there. But right. there are all these that's people. That's a fossil. Who, okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I understand. Like, yeah, we did that in like in fourth grade. We made our own fossils with like trilobites. You know, I don't know if you ever like like a trilobite, and like it's like you know like impressions, right? So that you could see like. You know, you could see a fish, you know, bones inside of a rock, but you open it up mm -hmm. and you can see like where, you know, it kind of that rock formed around those fish bones to the point, you know, where it almost made like a stamp. Exactly. Right? Yeah, right. exactly. But, we did then, that with the but then there's also bones, too. So you're saying that what they're doing is they're taking like a plaster and filling in that those um, those spaces in the rock and then creating like what would be the dinosaur. Well, what you see in museums isn't isn't well, you'll see a full skeleton in museums and some of those bones are actually not real. Like they had to fill those in to make the skeleton. Gotcha. Um but the way that fossils form is that I'm saying that the, the method is kind of like a mold, like the rock replaces the organic matter. And so what we see isn't necessarily a bone, like yeah, like a chicken bone or whatever, but a, a rock mold of the bone that was there millions of years ago. Right, but I just say it, most of those bones would, you know, it, even though the smaller the bone is, usually it decays more, which is probably why the only ones that we really see are fucking dinosaurs that are massive. Mm. Yeah, there there are people who, you know, they're literal biblical. They go by the the Bible, and they're saying that dinosaurs are not real. That was an invention of the eighteen hundreds. This is a whole subsection of the internet who are convinced that um, because, yeah dinosaurs aren't real it was because <laughs> I, don't, I don't i don't know if people understand what that means like four billion years you know how many civilizations have lived rose and fell created technology that we don't even know how to fathom been able to do things that we can't even imagine and then have fallen and risk like four billion is in Fucking insane. Well, like, it's, it, we've like, only been here for 
the last 200,000. So it's it's not very much. But have you seen this uh, this new news story that they found the the oldest fossil human footprint in North America is actually much older than they thought before. It's between it's about 20,000 years old and that pushes the date of American settlement back about 10,000 years. Right. So it's about 20,000 years old. Right, but it's like even then, like twenty thousand years ago is like the Bible. That's what that's how I look at it. Like twenty thousand years ago is like the Bible. Yeah, these and, people say six, but how do they know? Right, they, no, they, apparently no, no. They, they have said the six. Bible. They have said six thousand, like the Earth is six thousand years old, and, and I've heard that too. But four point six. So you're telling me that's a difference of. Like four point five four, some shit like that. Five, you know what I'm saying? Like five, five, four, five, nine, four billion. Mm-hmm. And from what we think. Yeah, I mean, it makes more sense that it's four point six billion than it's a couple hundred thousand because there's a lot going on under the surface. And it had to become the way it is. Like there were periods of the earth, uh, earth's history that were uninhabitable completely. Mm. And then we get the dinosaurs. So the dinosaur is pretty new for Earth. Man, I'm going to tell you, I do think dinosaurs existed. I don't think that they are what we think they are. You know what I'm saying? I think that they were a different kind of creature, maybe monsters, maybe something else that lived here. You know what I'm saying? But I just, I just don't think that anything four billion years old, like people... Like dog, a billion is a lot of one billion years is 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 you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta think outside of just Earth too. This universe or this galaxy is old as fuck. And then on top of that, then there's other galaxies that are old as fuck that are older than us that have already died out and we see a star from their shit still existing. You know? Well, we see in the star because the star is burnt out, but the light hasn't that's what I'm saying. So it already happened, but we so right. far away. It, it was so bright, but it was so far away. It still ain't even hit us to the point where it's actually going away yet. Yeah. They say the universe, they used to say it was like 13 billion years old. Now they say it's older than that. So on the scale of the universe, the Earth isn't super old. But so this that, is a, a timeline of the Earth. Okay. So, so that's what makes me think that that there that there there could be people on the moon that have landed on the moon or crashed on the moon or died on the moon trying to leave Earth. Like, a lot of shit could have happened on this planet before we got here. Like, before our civilization even got here, mad shit shit could have happened. Well, I mean, a lot did happen. It just didn't happen with, uh, you know, humanoid people. But you have, you know, various stages of animal life that are all amazing. And dinosaurs don't even get here till till here. So... In the grand scheme of things, even dinosaurs are new. Right. Right. That's true. That's true. But that makes me also feel like I I'm I like to to kind of um subscribe to the theory that dinosaurs could even still be in some places on Earth. Crocodiles. Yeah. Uh, I would say crocodiles and uh turtles, right? Or crocs for sure. Birds. There's some birds, but, but I'm talking birds. about birds. But I'm talking about like straight up like like you ever see like the shoe bill um stalk? What's can't, it called? Bill. can't say I heard I have. That I mean that motherfucker just look crazy. I mean, look at uh like emus, ostriches. They look very strange too. Why yeah. is the neck so long and in that bird but this, body? But this look like it'll snap an emu's neck. Have you do you have it up, Maya? The, yeah, I got it. The shoe bill, yeah. And so look at the videos. Oh, I've like, seen. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I didn't know what that was the name yeah. of it, but I've seen this before. And yeah. the eyes on this thing is just like, eesh. it. It almost has like human eyes. Yeah, right there. Look at that. Right. Like it just, it just, it just looked like a police officer. I follow this stupid Twitter page or the stupid X page that's a shoe bill every hour, and they just put a picture of a shoe bill every hour. You said they do what? They just put a picture of a shoe bill every hour. Yeah, I mean that's a scary ass bird, dog. What's this? And they walk real like, yeah, look at that. See, hell no, that's like a straight, that's like a robot or something. 
It's just the way it blinked. But the it's because the blink covers the entire eye. It blinked like one of them uh, robots at Chuck E. Cheese. You know what don't blink, though? What? A fucking alligator. Yeah, they do. <laughs> no, they don't. Yeah, they have that clear lid that comes over because they got to be able to see. So That's when they go in the water, though. No, I no, think. no. But they, right. But they can, they like, they, alligators definitely blink. Let's look that up. Let's look that up just to make sure. But I believe. I think it might saying? be like a, a cover. I know what you're talking about, though. Yeah, because they have that clear one. They have two sets of eyelids, if, if I'm not mistaken. The one is to go underwater, and the other one is to, like, sleep almost. Like, you know, like, that can, like, block out the light. Okay, so. Alligator eyelids. Says, where am I at? Okay. Even though you might not ever see it happen in real life, alligators do blink. Alligators have eyes that are so different from ours and need to say, Moist to function properly. Sometimes an alligator will blink by closing just the inner eyelid, and sometimes they'll close both the inner and the outer eyelid. Bam, bam! I be knowing some shit. See, yeah, they. Die. I've definitely seen them blink, and they be like rolling their eyes almost when they blink. Like they should like go back like a uh, like a like a baby doll eyes. You know how the baby doll eyes be rolling? Yeah. So, but I don't think that's their eye moving though. I just think that's the that's the, the thing the lid up. part. Yeah. 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 It's like when they close a the store and they pull that thing down. You know, a Foot Locker be closing. <laughs> and they pull that thing down. You be like, "Come on, can I just get a pair of Jordans?" They be like, "Come on, man, you got to come under." And wait, wait, wait. Their design it. is crazy to me because their eyes are meant to see sit above the water. Uh. Bam! See that? That shit look that's crazy. Like a windshield wiper. And that was like three lenses. Hold on. Can you can you start that over real quick? It was like he opened the eye. And then, and then, bam, bam. Hmm. Damn, that's crazy. And then you got the black Uncle Charlie from Bone Thugs and Harmony eyes. Wow. Wow. All right, that's a creep. That's, uh, that's yeah, somebody said it's definitely some uh, alligators. I mean, some uh, some dinosaurs in the ocean. Hell yeah. What was it, Megalodon? Oh, did you see that movie, The Meg? Yeah, and no. the Meg Two. Yeah, the Meg Two had the dinosaur in his mouth. I saw that, and the Meg, and it showed how much bigger that Meg is than a, a T Rex or something. No, like Megalodon that. was the biggest, I think. T Rex wasn't even the biggest dinosaur. It was just known as the, uh, like the most ferocious or whatever. Mm -hmm. The perfect size for destruction. Because the, what, yeah. what they said, the one that that used to eat leaves or whatever was the biggest one. I started a B, I think. Brontosaurus? Something like that. Are they still Brontosaurus? Are they a Patasaurus? I am not uh, I'm not up on my dinosaurs since I'm not a child anymore, but <clears throat> I used to be up on my dinosaurs. Yeah, I feel like every kid had a dinosaur phase. I mean, remember the land before time? That was that was my childhood. Oh, the land before time. I can't I, I don't want to ruin anyone's uh, day, but you remember when the mother died? Mm -hmm. That was <sighs> awful. Yeah, that shit was sad as hell. But the, I, I used to like that movie though, Land Before Time. Remember that? Wait, no, nah, not nah, yeah. It was the Land Before Time. Yeah, but, Land Before Time. But also, it Little was foot. a remember. No, it was Land Before Time. But then it was a show called Land of the Lost that used to come on on Saturday, where this where this family had like their uh their station wagon had fell down into a sinkhole, and in that sinkhole was a whole world, a prehistoric world of dinosaurs and all kind of stuff, and they had to like live there because they couldn't get out. I, Wait, is this this the one? Sounds familiar. Yeah, Land of the Lost. Yep. And they had like a little monkey people and aliens. It was all kind of shit down in there. And it's like, hmm. Wow, this is an old show. Nah, this was this was like it was a little newer than this. It what must have started that? before then, then, because all the pictures I see are like this definitely seventies style. Yeah, but it's another one though. There's a movie Will Ferrell is in. Oh, that's dope. Let's say 2009. Yeah. But like Land of the Lost was cold because it was just like what was deep about it. Right there, right there, right there. So uh, all the way over. This one? Where the little girl is like holding that little dinosaur's hand. That's the one I saw. Yep, that one. 1991. 1991, yeah. Yep, 1991. I said 1991, but yeah, 1991. That and so that's the one I used to I used to watch the shit out of this show, and it had like dinosaurs and all kind of shit down there. Yep, Land of the Lost. What I have to see this? Oh, show. I re I remember seeing that dinosaur. They made like some memes out of him, for sure. 
Do you remember that show, Dinosaurs? Yeah. Yeah. No, not the mama. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah somebody that was that. a good show. Yep. Like I rewatched yep. oh it recently, God. and they talk about some really, um, really important stuff. Like when the two-legged dinosaurs go to war with the four-legged dinosaurs. Mm, that daddy looked crazy as hell. I like how they made him like kind of scary, but still a family man. But like you could tell he'd fuck somebody up. Like, like look at his eyes. He probably was he stupid. I feel like that was the truth. No, he wasn't stupid. He was like a like like a blue collar working dinosaur type of nigga. He take care of his family. His wife was ugly as hell though. His oh, wife, like dragon like. Yeah, she was like a dragon almost. And 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 then the grandma was there. Grandma looked like somebody I know. Oh, don't. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it alone. But I know a motherfucker like, just like that grandma. They know they're talking about them though, CP. You know that, right? You say what? They're listening. They know you're talking about them. No, they not. And if they is, so what? They don't know. I ain't saying no name. So nothing you can do about it. I don't know what you're talking about. But you know you look like that damn grand lady. Grand lady. <laughs> you know you like that grand lady. Remember all the cars was, was was like grands back then? Remember you had a grand name, a grand, a grand prix? People used to love them Pontiac grands. You look raggedy as hell now. That Pontiac don't even exist no more. Yeah, I know they don't. That ending was sad for the show. What show? Where the uh, where the son has steroids? Who? What son was on steroids? What fucked up show are you talking about? I think you're talking about dinosaurs. Oh yeah, yeah. Cause the son he's wearing like a little Letterman jacket, but he wasn't on no team. I, th- I think he ate a nigga and took that jacket. Real shit. That's crazy. They so fake, man. Cause Carlton was on steroids. Really. Remember Carlton on Fresh Prince? Remember he found him steroids in Will Locker? And then Will cried oh. and was like, somebody I care about a lot could have got hurt. Could have got hurt. It's like, shut up, Will. I thought you meant the <laughs> actor. I thought you meant that actor was on steroids. That's why he's so buff. Who, Carlton? Oh, you thought Carlton was buff? Uh, he looks like he's buff if he takes his shirt off. Yeah. He looks like the type. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Calm down. Calm down, new mom. <laughs> I mean, he looks all right, honestly. Like, you know, no, nah, man, man. What else I want to talk about? What's your favorite white song, Amir? Mm. Hmm. Hmm. It's not something I think about often, so I have to. Yeah, go you gotta think about it. <laughs> What's your favorite little white song? Your, your your little white bop. You get in the car. You know, what I'm saying I got like four or five of them that I fuck with for real. That I'd be like, oh yeah, this 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 shit low key go hard. I ain't gonna hold you up, and it's all white. It's probably yeah. some old some older stuff, though, like way back. Man, okay, so one of them is uh uh imagine me and you. I do. I think about oh, it day and night. Before. It's only right. That's a dog ass song when you think about it. Like they killed that. I wish somebody would sample it. Like what? I, I wonder what rapper would sample it and go crazy. Probably like J Cole. Somebody like that to go crazy on there. Then I like, uh, hey there, Delilah, won't you come in around the stairs and move and stay? Oh, what really you do to... to me? That shit sounds so cold. I'm really trying to think. Uh, when I was playing like, uh, like rock band or whatever, like Living on a Prayer, Bon Jovi, that. How's that? Uh, uh, we're halfway there. Oh. Living on yeah. the prayer. That yeah, that was it. That's the shit. Uh, That's the shit. What sm- about uh, uh? What about one of my favorites? Is uh, goddamn. Uh, here we go again on my own, going oh, down the old road. You seen the music video? <laughs> no, they got a music video. Of course. Going down the only road. That was my shit. I played a lot of Tony Hawk growing up, so there was some stuff on there too. Oh yeah. Tony Hall had some shit. I used to be on that bitch grinding, trying to, back when PlayStation would just release games, you had to have them. Oh, look at this little meat. Who's this? What's, what's she doing? Oh, that's like his girlfriend. Uh, back in the day, those rockers rock hard. Look at this. Whatever. My, look at that, look she, at said, the she, hair. she said those rockers rock hard. They ain't rock hard. They, they was just doing a bunch of white boy shit. They didn't rock harder than Jackass. 
<laughs> I used to live around like people who were this style white, like heavy metal white. Oh, for no, real? No, I would say rock, rock or white. They yeah, be doing their hair like wild, this. Dude. They do their hair like this. She said they were wild, dude. I, I grew up around hood niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck a rocker. You know what I'm saying? I feel you though, but it's like uh, man. No, they got into trouble. Yeah. <laughs> they're probably they probably go to prison, the same prison. Niggas it's just they're in different groups when they're in that prison. Beat the shit out of some rockers, and they'd be like, "Come on, man, it's not funny, man. It's not funny, man. You better fucking man back off, man." Little fuck about no rock niggas, but hey, my my man, little chick got some little '80s booty. She got that '80 booty on her, Betty booty, '80 booty, '80 booty on her. Oh, what? I gotta watch out because I might fuck around and be him. Oh no, that's. <laughs> That's a woman, but you know, these niggas, you never know. They be like, yeah, I am the girl. Yeah. All right, so look, I gave you four songs. The fifth one was, uh, it's like Ray. Oh, you waiting? Free ride. I'm going to tell you why. First of all, did I just kill it? That's how she sounds. Free ride. Right? I could, I could do the concert if she needed somebody to just like, if she was back, like a backup singer. Here go the thing. I was working at Best Buy and I was selling TVs. And um, it was two songs. It was that. It's like Rain Yang and then uh, uh, I want to soak up the sun. I want to tell everyone who knows it now. What you going to tell them, bitch? I'm going to tell them that I, I got to know of a plane. Yeah, I'll be in the car going crazy. Bam. Then some Lil Wayne to come on. I have a little mix. I'm surprised you didn't say she's a maniac. Well, because that, you know, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, that's one of my favorites too, though. I ain't gonna lie. It is, but it, it, but that's like from a movie. It's still a white person Right, song, but though. I know, I know, but I'm saying like some songs go good in a movie, right? So that's one of them. And then I've like, never seen the movie, so I just know the song. Oh, he's a maniac. Like I know they, the movie it come from. Right, but, but they I, always did like that. They did it on like a couple of montages. On the floor, and then motherfucker, <laughs> and it's gonna get like, like that. he's never cooked before. Yeah, that is. I might have to have ten of them bitches. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> he's a maniac, maniac on the floor. It's my shit. Kenny Loggins. Yeah. I'll, I'll, What's I'll, Kenny Loggins? What's that? What's that? Uh, Kenny Loggins had a song. I was pretty sure he's on Footloose too. Okay, I don't know the Footloose. Oh, uh, Footloose. That movie. Have you guys uh heard Run Through the Jungle? Uh-uh, what's that? CCR. What's that? Uh, Clear, Creedence Clearwater Revival. It was in Tropic Thunder. It's mm. kind of like the best opening riff of any song ever. Hmm. I think I know what you're talking about. I, know, I'm thinking of, see, I don't be knowing the name of the motherfuckers, though. <laughs> you just know, you just hear them. Like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Eric D. said Hotel California. That's a cool one. James Russell thought I was about to say Kelly Clarkson. Nah, nah. Because you know what? I, you know, I only fucked with the niggas that came off American Idol. Fantasia. Uh, uh, Ruben, Jennifer Hudson, Jennifer Hudson, but Ruben, Ruben used to look Ruben so started. pitiful. He said, "You're like, <laughs> y'all gonna vote for me? I'm sorry, like nigga, you ain't like that." Somebody said Chumba Wumba. Uh, I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. That song, um. That's one of them songs that come on at like at like the beginning of like American Pie. You remember them old white movies? It was like a time when like white movies would come on. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to think of the song that they'd be playing, and they'd be like panning over the campus, and they'd be like throwing <laughs> football. You know what I'm saying? It's like I can imagine the song. I know. That would be on there, but I can't think I of can't any think of the, of the song. But it, it, y'all, it's, you y'all think what? of white people like there's a one big group. There's different kind of white people. Like, oh, I, I know. know. Yeah, we, I feel yeah like we, but like, don't nobody I feel wanna... like we've touched on different kinds yeah. of different eras of Don't nobody want to listen to goddamn uh, Italian songs. Like, you know what I'm saying? We talk about white, middle America, broke. Uh, hey, See, I, look. I, ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, though. Italian disco? Oh, you got great. some that's Danny Terrio type shit. shit. Yeah, that's some Italian disco. They got some stuff. I don't know the names of the songs because it's an Italian. Forget about it. But Ooch, they have some stuff. Forget about it. Ooch, forget about it. No, but I'm saying like, Okay. These boots are made for walking, Nancy Sinatra. Terrible. That's a good song. Terrible. Get out of here. These boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. And one of these days, these boots will walk all over you. And she said that, that to me, and I'd be like, well, walk then, bitch. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ain't no good comeback. That's like, give me one reason to stay here. And I'll turn right back around. But you don't say nothing, so you just let the bitch keep walking. Oh, you're going to drag You're not going to give me right one now. reason? Like, no, nah, get out. Give me one reason to stay here. Somebody said, just lose your self count. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Because he rapping? Yes, and because it's Eminem. Eminem is the most niggas white man ever made. Him and uh, my man who died from, uh, uh, God damn. Mac Miller? Nah, nah. Mac Mac was just Mac, man. Mac and really bad, black. But my man who was played on that Zendaya show, who just died recently. Oh, damn. Damn, what's his name? Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I can't remember his name. Yeah, 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 yeah. My man, like, he done seen some shit before. He, he damn near got a light-skinned auntie. You know what I'm saying? You just could tell. Some niggas just got that. You know what I'm saying? But, uh... Damn, dog. I, I wish I knew the song, man. Because I just sang it a couple weeks ago. I was talking about how them white movies used to come on. And they were like, we're going down to the quad. Man, dog. I'm going to think of it later on, man. Damn. You know what's a good movie? A white movie that has a great soundtrack? What is The it? Lost Boys. And it's uh, it's October now. It's vampire season. The Lost Boys has a mm. great soundtrack. Stranger Things got a nice little soundtrack, too. But it's just creepy. You know Stranger, Stranger Things is uh, they're all original. Yeah. Well, the uh, the not the licensed songs in it, but the the music that they yeah. actually just play in the background. Mm-hmm. I studied that for a while. Yeah, they two, got some it's shit. Just, man. Just two guys, bro. They they're fired. oh for real, two dudes yeah. just making all the music. Yeah. Hard oh, wow. greedy motherfuckers getting their Tyler Perry on. You know, they what were saying? in the group and then they 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 still do a group. They like perform. I forgot the name of the group, but um, it's like with the two guys names like some Stein and Kenny, some some like that. But yeah, I'd be having I'd be listening to that stuff sometimes. Man, the ice to fuck with uh, I used to fuck with Daft Punk a little bit going yeah, crazy. Daft Punk that shit cool. was cold. Oh, yeah. We're on born Mexican. We're on born Mexican, even though they're saying we're up on ninth to get. But like it, it just started freestyle. We're all born Mexican. We're all born Mexican. We're all born Mexican. I used to love Daft Punk, man. They had some shit, dog. They was freaky with it too. Daft Punk. Harry mm-hmm. Mack freestyle better than Eminem. I don't believe that. I don't. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. You yeah. know, it's a good movie. The Truman Show. I watched that uh, yesterday. And that shit was creepy, man. That shit, man, that shit real. You know how I am. I don't give a fuck. Watch it one time. That shit real, dog. That, 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 that shit real. That's what it is, man. We all on the Truman Show. We all Well, Truman. you kind of are. Because you're an influencer. Oh, see, I thought that, but I didn't want to say it to myself. You just said it. You just freed me. You're right. It's fucked up, man. They're watching me, huh? You can't help it. Any kind of a celebrity, even if it's a minor celebrity, people are watching them. You got people who follow you. Mm-hmm. People mm-hmm. you have no idea who they are, but they know everything about you. Yeah. Schools! Out for summer! And the kids just pulling off in uh, I Rock Z28s. Schools out! Later, losers! Yeah, I'll see you guys down at the lake! Out for summer! I don't know why I just thought about that, but it just sounded like a movie. And then that's like a scary movie, and then people start getting killed at the lake. Wait, where's Becca? Where the fuck's Becca? And then they go looking for Becca, and then they get killed. It's a whole movie. It's so, it's so easy. White people, y- y'all life be so simple. Black m- movies be fucking crazy. Trey was trying to get out the hood. All his friends got killed. It wasn't no scary movie. He knew who was killing them. The police knew. They couldn't even do shit. He came in, swinging on Neil Long, fell to his knees, sniffed her crotch. It's a good-ass movie. The new VHS is out, VHS 85, if you're looking for horror movies for Halloween. What you mean? I ain't got no VCR. No, the VHS series of movies. What the? You don't do horror movies like that? Hell no. Nah. We just did. I tried to let my kids watch one some scary movies that used to scare me. And they was like, man, this weak as fuck. I let them watch The Ring. And they was like, man, what is this shit? <laughs> I'm like, man, this shit scared the fuck out of me. I was like 20 when I saw this. Are you serious? I'm like, man, get this shit out of here. The Ring, nigga. And then they wanted to watch, uh, what did we watch? Uh, the Purge. Well, I, I had to turn that shit off. It was too rated R. Sometimes the movies get the same shit. You'll be like, God damn. Yeah, The Purge is, yeah, that, that's yeah, that pretty shit rough. was wild. I was like, what the fuck? I turned this shit off. A, a good one that's like kid friendly, uh, Monster House. 
I never heard of that one. It's, it's good. a good animated movie. I mean, they never made another one, but yeah, it came out See, like animated. 06. They, they had that age, man. It's, they, it's not. It's not really meant to scare them, but it's like it's just a cool, like scary, like movie in that that style. You know who I hate is people who take babies to amusement parks. My, don't do that. Don't take, don't, don't take. Roman. That's like Disney, Never. Disney, you know, Disney That's land like, down, down the way. People Six be Flags. like having little bitty babies at the amusement park. Now, I say that, but what me and my wife did do about three years ago is so my daughter was, my youngest daughter was six. My oldest was probably nine, probably eight going on nine. We took them to holla, um, we took them to Halloween Horror Nights, <laughs> but at, uh, at Knott's Berry Farm thinking that it would be not that bad, but they changed it to not Scary Farms. Oh, yeah. Man, when I tell you, it was like they was they was they was trying to kill us, dog. Like they was chasing us with sparks and shit. And my youngest daughter was just crying, like, "What are we doing?" It was crazy. <laughs> it was good to see how they were act in a massacre situation. Like, all right, cool, yeah, we we all need pistols because uh, y'all y'all can't run for shit. You know, what I'm saying, "What are we doing?" They're trying to kill us. It was, it was fun, man. It was a good time. You know, sometimes your kids act up, and as the as the parents, you got to put them in situations where they might get fucked up a little bit just to get your payback. Like, you should have cleaned your room up. I don't know what to tell you. We can't run that fast. They're getting us. It's fun, man. It's fun. You know, either that or you know, or don't be born. It's up to you. Hell yeah, had their ass feel like they was back in the D. They like, what the fuck? Just like they was when I told them Santa got shot. That's that's what made us move out the D. That's how I was able to move us out the D and not get no Christmas presents. Is I told them that Santa got shot. And they're like, well, like, yeah, it's this fucked up city. My daughter was like, we gotta get the fuck out of here. This don't make no <laughs> sense. And then uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's when they stopped believing in Santa and started fucking with me. Sometimes. That's gonna come up in therapy in about twenty years. <laughs> yeah, they got that nigga. I was I, I was at Target trying to get y'all that last Barbie, and he was getting this. I was like, Santa, go ahead, get it, but make sure you drop it up at my house. For then he was like, All right, cool, ho ho ho. Like, so no, 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 no. Walked outside. They was robbing him. And I said, Look, because they because they, they almost robbed me, but I but I but I ended up knowing the nigga. And my dog was like, Who was he? Let's turn him in. I said, Whoa, 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 whoa. We can't snitch. And so did the best thing. You know, we just, uh, we just, you know, we walked away with our head held high. We moved to a new city, and uh, we don't talk about that no more. It's a soft spot. It'll come up in therapy, but it ain't gonna be on me. You can be like, tell us a time where you lost trust. But I was living in the D, and uh, they killed Santa. They slid on him. They slid on his sleigh. That's what they did. They slid on that nigga's sleigh. It's fucked up. They ain't even take all the toys because blood had got on all the Nintendos and shit. So they was like, no. So they just left because every people were screaming. So they just nigga just started running. They just popped them for no reason. Just like that nigga did Ronnie on the shy. Remember that? Remember Ronnie from the shy? That's your problem. You don't know how to. I didn't kill Coogie. Remember that? It was like, nigga, shut up. That old boys. I used to hate that nigga, but I'm so glad they got rid of him. Ronnie from the shy. I was like, man, who is this nigga with this voice? Next, and they and they also used to have him doing the last time on the shot. He'd be like, last time on the shot. I feel like this nigga here. I can't not enjoy this show. Anyway. Shout out to the shy man. What y'all think gonna happen? I hey, I think uh that nigga Papa gonna kill Duda because that nigga killed Papa's dad. If y'all watch the shy, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Uh Papa not having that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know. Cause like little little fat niggas be churchy, and then you push them too far, and then they turn into Biggie or Ross. You know what I'm saying? You gotta keep a little fat nigga in church. Fat. That's girl. why they go to church. Yeah. Cause they're this close to snapping. They know they need church. Well, that and then it's a guaranteed dinner after every Sunday. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> guaranteed little chicken gotta dinner. Make it, gotta make it the through the three hour service. Oh yeah, they, that, that's a small price to pay. They be in there working up their hunger, like, yeah, well, well, well. You be like, oh, y'all ready to eat, huh? Well, 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 well. Ready to fuck some shit up, them little ass biscuits. Shout out to the pastors, man. You know, next time I go to church, I'll be like, I would like to speak to the manager. Where's God? I'm the assistant manager. Shut up. Funny thing is, I've been to Detroit. Plenty of times and always had a great time, but I also knew shit could get real in any moment. Yeah. 
Yeah. Detroit is like the purge right before it happened. Like, it could go out, but also it's not. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's also a lot of cities like that. Detroit is on the comeback, man. Y'all gonna stop doing my city like we just fucked up. We got some fucked up spots, but so do New York. So do L.A. L.A. got some spots, man, where it's like, bro, niggas is running out of space on their body for their tattoos. And you'd be like, oh, this nigga look crazy. Like, how you gonna hold a baby? Nigga, baby will look at you like, man, I can't read. Nigga, I'm, looking, I'm getting a headache looking at you. You know what I'm saying? Maya keeps some mints around. Don't, don't, don't let nobody with bad breath hold Roman. It's just me and Tony right now. I we know. might bring him down to the office soon, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're all clean, but thing. somebody with bad breath, man. This lady, breath has been so bad. She used to hold my daughter. Every time she held her, my daughter would start shitting. I was like, man, God damn, what kind of breath do you got? Yeah. yeah. I remember my daughter scared this old lady one time. She was just looking at her in her eyes. Old people don't like that. You know, they they like, what the, what the fuck this baby? This baby been here before. Like, man, give my goddamn daughter back. This her first time here, bitch. I just met her. How you gonna tell me my daughter? Whatever. Maybe hmm. Rowan came out looking at people. Right, because he's fucking aware. He's aware. Like, oh, why is he looking at us? But they said that back in the day, babies didn't used to come out with their eyes open like that. But Maya, I told you last week, people are getting smarter. People are getting smarter for reasons that matter, right? People, people are learning more things. You know, we all got YouTube. Even Roman, he was listening. He was listening. in the womb. His Man, eyes were open look. in the womb. We have a sonogram with his eyes, like I'm like, what are you looking at? You're in the womb. Okay, I've Damn, never heard of that before. I've <laughs> never heard of that. What you know? Who eyes can be open in the water like that? Reptiles. My, I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions, and you just answer them the best you can to your memory. <laughs> Okay. Um, your family, have they always lived above ground? As far as I know. Earth is what, round or flat? It is definitely round. Yeah, that's exactly what they would want her to say. Amir, you're seeing this, right? <laughs> you did You did have that baby pretty quick. It didn't feel like nine months. That felt like six and a half. Something's going on. You're not, Maya, if you're not human, just tell us. That felt like nine months to me. Was it nine months for real? Almost to the day, yeah. Wow, that's dope. Yeah. That That's last cool. month felt like a good three months. Man, I wonder, like, could you keep your eyes open in the womb? That's crazy. What does it look like in there? What you be I don't eating? Know what he's looking at? What you be eating? He probably was looking at what you be eating. Like, man, look at all these goddamn vegetables and shit. He, he probably he didn't to... eat vegetables. He only wanted meat and uh, like he wanted meat and potatoes, meat and rice. Like this kid, he was like a grown man from the time he was. Nice. So he got Tony's diet. Nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah, he definitely got Tony's the old shepherd pie baby. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. So, what are you eating now that you got your body back? Are you like, do you feel different? Like, ah, I'm so happy to be done with that. Are you ready to get back in and have another uh, baby? I could. I'll probably have another baby in maybe a year, year and a half. Mm. I'm back to my regular stuff, but I'm not eating uh, nearly as much. And in fact, I'm a lot hungrier now that I'm breastfeeding. But before, when he was, when I was pregnant, if I didn't eat every four hours, he would make me sick. What? Yeah, I would get sick if I didn't eat every four hours. I had to have something. But See, uh, now it, it's much better. So I can just, you know, you take the weight off breastfeeding. <laughs> Amir looked at me like, yeah, CP must be pregnant because that nigga eat. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm saying Roman obviously still has that same diet now because that when I was over there, that man wouldn't was hungry all the time. I was, there, I was there for like 30 minutes. Damn. He's hungry. hungry I saw boy. that picture of him and him with the other baby. What, whose baby is that? Cameron's Cameron baby. And, that is Cam. I thought yeah. it was Cam's baby. I wasn't sure. It's, it look they about the same size. Though. They look like crazy. they they look like <laughs> six months old. What's going on? Well, Cam's baby came out little. Cam's baby is uh I think a few weeks old. She's a girl. She's really pretty. Looks a lot like Cam. These babies and that these babies, man. Cam do like a pretty girl, but like not like that. <laughs> but like Cam, the, like if he came in girl version, like if you had to go get a Cam doll, he's like you, you want a girl or a boy. I'm like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you could get both. Cam's 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 a pretty person. I don't want to say it like that. Sorry, Cam. I know you got kids and Cam shit. Cam got man. pretty lips. Is that what you're saying? No, I didn't look at his lips, my See how you do? See, women love to make niggas gay, don't they? We, that's, that's women. <laughs> women love doing that. <laughs> <laughs> women, you just go eat some new ice cream, huh? Oh, you get ice cream? Sherbert? Sherbert. <laughs> you're getting Sherbert? Wow. Rainbow <laughs> Sherbert. Take me home. You know what? <laughs> if you got secrets, you'd be like, look, leave me the fuck alone. 
<laughs> Rainbow Sherbert. Mm. Is that a cherry on top? Wow. Anyway, y'all, we just having fun today, man. You know, sometimes, man, you roll the TV into the class and y'all watch Magic School Bus at school. You know what I'm saying? This didn't have to mean shit. We chilling, man. We got Maya back. We talking about babies. You know, Amir is back in black. I'm here. I got on black, too. Amir might have... Man, th this nigga might, like, if Maya show up in all black, we know Amir is, like, some kind of government plant <laughs> taking all the color out of our outfits. Anyway, y'all, it's another episode of CP Podcast, man. My name is CP. That's Amir. That's Maya. Uh, shout out to Tony, man. Tony got uh, Roman right now. Yeah, he's in the other room. I got to go feed him. Oh, he man. He was on a tear today. Someone really? had to be with him constantly. You got you to be careful, man. Roman might, man... Man, you, so you know what they say. If your baby is advanced, it's because you about to have another baby. Have you heard that before? Like, they move along fast to get ready for the next kid. Did you know oh. that? Look that up. There's something something to that. Something to that. Hey, man. I'm not I'm not opposed. I already forgot. I already forgot how it went down. I'll do it again. Really? You forgot? That's crazy. Yeah, even the first day, like, which was really, really painful, because that's before I, I took any of the pain meds. I couldn't even describe the pain to you, except, like, that hurt a lot. Damn. I'm so glad, man. I'm so glad that when when men have babies, it's just from coming. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> boom! You know what I'm saying? We need a, 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 a nap and a sandwich. Women, y'all be needing six weeks to recover. It'd be like, God damn, all I did was nut, and this baby is fucking here. That is, that is not fair to you guys. Anyway. CP Podcast. We out of here, man. See y'all next week. Next week, I'm going to be zooming in because I'm getting back on the road. I'm going to New York. Uh, I'm leaving tomorrow, but I'll be there like late, so like early Thursday morning. But y'all going to see this episode before I get there, but I'll be in New York tomorrow. I'm bringing CP Was Here shirts. Uh, if you know the story about it, it's really dope. The whole thing's on the back. So yeah, man. It's about to go down. Dog. Everybody who caught it live today, uh, that's what's up, man. And I let all of the, if you notice, there's a lot of people in here today. The reason why is because, is, is because I let the $5 Patreons in to see what y'all be missing. This is what the $10 Patreons get every week. And when they come in, get to talk to us, leave comments, laugh, let us know what's funny, whatever, whatever. Up your shit. You know what I'm saying? Up your shit to the 10. Like, you know what I'm saying? For real, I don't want to just drop all the fives, but it's like, there's really nothing over there for the fives, man. Come, 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 come fuck with the 10s, dog. For real. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.